Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with uh, Falling Forward Financial. I'm just uh, sitting here thinking uh, WTF about uh, Sundial uh, Growers today. It's um, don't know what's going on with it. It hasn't been um, doing that great in the uh, last month. There. Let's look at the three months. It had this nice run up here to 295 in the middle of February, and ever since then it's just been kind of on the uh, decline. I wish I would have dumped my shares back then but I've been holding this one so as you can see I still got my 170 in this account at a dollar eight ticker is SNDL uh, feel free to pause and uh, read what this one's about it's a MJ play I'm sure if you're watching this you know what it's about uh, but I've been watching this one for a while been holding it and um, haven't been real satisfied with it. It's been a uh, popular one, but um, I got a um, bunch of information come out about it today. Uh, one while Sundial most recent report reveals some hints about its future, and I hear different things about its future all the time. Uh, but it's an MJ play, so I'm just continuing to hold. Uh, but went down 7.3% uh, from the latest closing price compared to a recent one-year high of 396 the company's stock price has collected negative 24.16 of loss in the last five trading sessions uh, as reported on 326.21 and I recently bought some more uh, naked uh, brand and kind of regret that one I haven't touched AMC for a while and I don't know what these two are so if you've traded those uh, go ahead and leave those in the uh, comments uh, but is it worth investing into uh, sundial growers right now opinions of the stock are interesting as zero analysts out of six who provided ratings on sundial declared the stock as a buy while zero rated the stock as overweight two rated as a hold and four as a sell if you're not actively in uh, uh, well, that just goes over crypto, so we'll uh, skip that, and you can watch my other crypto videos. Uh, the average price from analyst is eighty-eight cents. Sundial currently public float is one point six five billion, and currently shorts hold ten point zero seven ratio of that float. Uh, today, the average trading volume uh, Sundial is five hundred and fifty-two million shares. And I've seen it up to a billion before. This one's had some major volume in it from time to time. Uh, Sundial stocks went down negative uh, 24.16 from the week uh, with a monthly drop of 17.52% and a quarterly performance of 100 and up 126% while its annual performance rate touched 7.2 or 7.62%. The volatility ratio stand week stands at 13.3 percent and the volatility levels of the past 30 days are set at 14.72 so I think uh, some people are trading this one shorting it and lots going on with the uh, volume inside of this one uh, many brokerage firms have already submitted their reports for Sundial stocks uh, with Kenacor Genuity repeating the rating for Sundial uh, by listing as a sell, the predicted price for a sundial is in the upcoming period, according to Kenaccord Genuity, is sixty-five cents, uh, based on research report published on March nineteenth in the current year, twenty twenty-one. And feel free to pause and uh, read the rest there for yourself. Uh, boiling and ready to burst as sundial growers' last month performance was negative. 17.52% so very interesting how this one's just been kind of up and down all over the place it's currently valued at $1.13 when the transactions were called off in the previous session stocks hit the highs of $1.24 after setting off with the price of $1.23 company stock value dipped $1.10 during the trading on that day when the uh, trading was stopped and its value was a dollar twenty-two. 
Sundial had a pretty favorable run when it comes to the market performance. The one-year high price of the company's stock is recorded at 396 on 211 and the lowest value of 47 in the same time period recorded on 1411. So from 1-4, a little bit, so we'll just call it five weeks. Uh, some people, I'm sure if you got in and got out at those prices, made some pretty good money. The trend in Sundial Growers Incorporated uh, continues to point downwards, unfortunately. Uh, price closed lower on Friday the 26th, sinking 7.3% uh, below its uh, previous close. A look at the daily price movement shows that the last close reads $1.22, with intraday deals fluctuated between $110 and 124 Company's five-year monthly beta was ticking zero, while its uh, P in the trailing 12 months period read zero. Taking into account the 52-week price action, we note that the stock hit a 52-week high of 396 and a low of 14. So kind of some of the same information we've already went over. Uh, feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. Sundial Grower stock looks for support a, by a technical analysis. Shares are looking to find support potentially near the dollar level. And um, if you've been in this one since I think uh, November, December time frame, uh, this one was um, needing to find the dollar level and um, get up to it and stay above it uh, to prevent from being delisted. And um, it stayed up above then, but it's slowly finding its way back down to the uh, dollar. So um, don't know what's going to happen with this one. The daily sundial chart shows that the stock is trading in its channel and the white lines between the dollar and one dollar and eighty price level. So you can see here on the uh, white lines, dollar and a dollar eighty. Uh, the chart may also be forming a pennant pattern. The stock has shown resistance in the past at $1 before being able to break above the level and hold it as support. This area may be somewhere the stock finds support in the future. The chart shows the stock has struggled to get above the $1.80 price and hold. This may be an area of resistance in the future. Uh, so we'll need to watch the dollar and the uh, dollar eighty uh, range. Bulls would like to see the stock cross above the dollar eighty level with consolidation before the price moves higher. Bears would like to see the stock fall below the drawn lines with some consolidation before the price moves downward. So this one's kind of been in a constant uh, tug of war between the bulls and the bears and. Not much recent talk on Reddit about uh, Sundial. Uh, but I got back into this one uh, back in the day for probably about 60 cents. Uh, did some options on it. The big talk was it was going to run up to a dollar and it uh, never did. And I lost some money on my options. And I think about a couple weeks later it went up to a dollar and then above. But... Um, President Biden's lame and will eventually give up presidency to Kamala Harris. <laughs> uh, prediction for tomorrow, $1.19, $1.20, opens a dollar. So I've been back and forth like a ping pong match, uh, whether to sell this one or keep it. or cause I know after I sell it, it's going to go up. But um, this one has just been kind of disappointing, so... Sundial technicals. But everybody that's in this one is bullish on it and uh, loves this stock and is willing to hold it. And <laughs> try pre workout. But that's all the information that I have on uh, Sundial. If you have any. Uh, 
other information to uh, back this one up or what your thoughts are or if you got out or if you're still in it uh, let me know what your cost basis is in the uh, comments that would be interesting to know uh, again I'm gonna continue to hold this one but if it gets down to the dollar ten I don't know what I'm gonna do so um, looks like it's already been down there today so just keeps trending lower that's for sure so but I'll continue to hold if I uh, sell out of this one I'll uh, definitely make a video it looks like it touched the 110 there last week and ran up but um, that's it for a sundial uh, if you haven't smashed that like button yet go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing that would really help out the channel and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop Again, this is Jay Money following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.